Today is our last ride with Como Va, and I'm cold and tired. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the coldest start today for sure. Look who just arrived. The Ow! man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Mike is joining us this time, Mike Solis. Today we're actually gonna hit some gravel. Ooh. And we both have 140 miles on our legs so far, so. With a lot of climbing. Are we gonna survive? We'll see. <laughs> Talk we'll see. Soon. Are we ready? So. Day three. Yeah. What did you guys do yesterday? Kaz Highway, Fort Ross Road. Okay, cool. And then we dropped down Fort Ross to uh -huh. the state park. Right. Explored there. Oh, nice. did, did some Russian folklore dancing. <laughs> okay, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then we shot down the coast. We had like a 15, 20 mile an hour tailwind. Oh, down awesome. The coast. Cool. Yeah. All right, I'll you. Yeah. Woo! Adventure Series used to use this stretch on a route that was called the Old Kaz okay. race. Uh, they no longer do that particular route. It was uh, my, my first mixed terrain gravel experience out here. Oh. Like 2011, I think, huh. was the first one I did over here when you show up with five bucks. They give you, a <laughs> you, you, should, you know, they give you a card and that's all there is to it. Yeah, over the years they, they grew and had to kind of become more formal and get yeah. permits from like the CHP and but it's been going on for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Miguel Crawford's the name of the guy who started the, the series. And mm -hmm. uh, he grew up in Sonoma County. His idea was there's amazing riding. It's a lot of connecting, you know, back roads to gravel roads. And um, he just created these routes and then started inviting people out. And now you get, you know, pros will come out and mm -hmm. race in some of these races. But even though they're called races, they're still sort of informal. Like, right. I mm -hmm. think for the King Ridge a couple weeks ago, they just yeah. did a time segment on King Ridge. Right. He's doing more of that now. Of, you know, just so people can ride together. And I'm like, no, it actually works better for me as, you know, in finishing position just because I don't have that fitness to do that. And yeah. I like longer rides. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's still cool. So. I mean, the game is up. I think I've said enough. I'll just forget all the rest. Look at us. Two kids just out of luck. But I think that you're the best. some mechanicals but nothing we can't quickly fix and continue going good thing mike is always prepared <laughs> We're on some nice single track. It's beautiful here. We came up Willow Creek and turned onto Upper Old Barn and rode the nice single track up here to Islands in the Sky with the view of the Pacific behind us. And we're gonna drop down, islands in the sky. We'll take this really fun, it's just about a mile, uh, freeze out flat road, still gravel, probably some puddles to play in. And then we'll hit a paved road and that'll connect us over to uh, to Duncan's Road, the next section of gravel. Awesome. Are you ready? Let's do it. Are you ready? Let's do it. All new to me. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. such a fun descent. Got a little steep, 
back there. Woo! Where is the easy climbing around here? I know. It doesn't exist. Woo! where they say mountain biking was born, that there was like a trail and there were two trees on either side of the trail. Yeah. And for your bike to fit through, your handlebars needed to be <laughs> like 70, what's the standard mountain bike width? Like 74 centimeters? Back then, I mean, now, yeah, now, yeah, it's, like, now, it's, now like, it's like 800 back then, probably okay. like 680. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> so that was like, literally they just yeah. started cutting all the handlebars at that size. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we just did a pretty steep little section and I think we're continuing on with the climb, right? We've got more climbing now on the dirt, it and then rolls, right? so, it, yeah. and then it rolls. Yeah. The climb finishes, and there's a pretty fun, mostly kind of single track. Oh, with one like little technical section. You probably remember this. Yeah, there's like an old washout. Yep, it's a little bit rocky coming in, but you, once you get through the rocky stuff, like let your speed carry you through this little dip, uh -huh. and you pedal up out of it. Awesome. I remember, I remember when it was unrideable, but I've been able to get it the last couple of times. So, yeah. Okay. Who knows? It's different every time. Right? We'll exactly. see. Maybe we'll long see. Long <laughs> long <laughs> Yeah, how much yourself? Yeah. I thought my legs were going to be a little more tired today after yeah. all the riding we've been doing, but... Yeah, I feel great. I feel pretty good. This is all those tortillas from yesterday. I literally ate like six of them with tons yeah. of avo. We finished that whole bag. Yeah. Let's see what's Ooh. watch out. That was a super fun section. Now we're gonna transition onto some pavement. We just came down these rollers. We're gonna get onto this gravel descent. We're gonna cross a creek, then climb up some gravel down to the highway and then back home. We're like nine miles away from our location so pretty good here they come oh ready for some more gravel always mike this is amazing Finish the descent. Now we're creek crossing. have a nice gravel descent then we're gonna get onto some pavement cross the bridge and finally head to town back on the road
Mom. Have a fun time on your next ride. On my, on my addition. Or addition, <laughs> yeah. He's Although gonna this, keep going. This meets, this meets my like my riding time is equal to total driving time. Like just that's that's kind of my rule of thumb. And this just gets it. I'm, yeah. you know, I'm not riding here enough. I want to go. You're up here. You, know, you might as well do. Yeah, I might as well go do the extra, and yeah. you know, I'll still be able to get home in plenty of time to take yeah. a nap and work. Look at us. Bye, bye. Thanks for riding with us. And now he disappears back into legend status until the next time. Kuma Bot came about from a number of trips that I would do with friends, planning all the routes and all the logistics. And eventually my friend said, why don't you do this as a business? And I had done a lot of cyclocross racing and competitive cycling and had really gravitated into gravel and bikepacking and touring and discovering how much fun I could have just through exploring and getting out there and not focusing necessarily on how fast I could go. Uh, so Kuma Bot cycling really came about from those different sort of backstories. And our aim is to give people an opportunity to either come out and stay with us here in uh, Sonoma's West County and do some of the amazing rides that we have. Challenging rides, but remote roads that you will never forget. Um, but we'll also guide trips anywhere uh, throughout California, Washington, Oregon, um, Utah primarily. Uh, and we can plan point to point trips, um, Airbnb style, bike touring, bike camping, um, whatever you like. We aim to just have people get exactly what they want out of an adventure and kind of push people um, just to the, the edge of their comfort zone. Uh, it's a great way to sort of gain confidence in your own ability to go out and have an adventure on your own. So we'd love to be able to have people ride with us and give them some skills to go out and, and be confident uh, adventure cyclists on their own. We just said goodbye to Steve. Now we'll say goodbye to Casita. Bye. Bye home. Uh, I just hate that I forget to record when I'm, you know, when we're in the moment, like saying goodbye. That would have been nice to record, but that'll stay in our in our hearts. <laughs> but we are really grateful for the opportunity. Now we just have a long drive home, <laughs> a sad one too. It's yep. it's really leaving the wonderful leaving the wonderful place up here and just these beautiful redwoods. It's hard. Goodbye, como va?